Hi everybody, welcome to my Hillside Urban Garden. Today, we're going to make a succulent garden. I have uh, went over to my brother's, he was getting rid of his fountain, and this is an old Disney fountain, and before he threw it out, I grabbed the top. So, um, it has been used before as for plants and stuff, but I thought this would look really nice uh, with a succulent garden and to put it on my front porch. So what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna do this project at no cost to us. Um, I've got some old soil in the greenhouse that I'm going to kind of freshen up and I'm just gonna, we're gonna go around the property and I've got succulents everywhere. I'm gonna snip some here and there and we're gonna make our succulent garden. So let's get out there and get our pieces and we're gonna use this old uh, saucer to put them in as we gather them up, so. Let's get started. Okay, I've got my saucer and with my first plant in there and we're on the side of the house where I keep all my succulents. You know, when the, they overwinter here and when plants aren't doing good or someone gives me something that's not good, I can put it on the side over here and I just let them grow. I water them about once a month and then I do this. I come in and I snip them and I make little succulent arrangements. So. Uh, let's snip some of these and I always kind of look at it to see where the best place to do this one so I think this one here we'll go ahead and snip it down here and I'll cut off the bottom part that'll be a really pretty one for that so let's put that up in our saucer up there and I see there's some more up here so I really like these little silver ones are really cute so let's snip some of those and we have a variegated one here and I like that one but I think I'm gonna do a smaller one for that. Let's see. Snip that, that up there. And we've got some of these plants. We've got a nice color. I will show you how we shape those down. And let's see, I've got these over here. I really like these. So we'll take all these small ones off here and we'll get some of the bigger ones. And when we cut them, you know, we cut them down here, they're just they're just gonna grow. You know, they're just gonna grow back there. I just kind of go through here and I find the 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 ones that are kind of hanging over. And I like that, I kind of like that color. Here's some more of the ones we just cut. Let's get that one here. It's got a little bit more of a darker on there. So we'll cut that piece off, put that up there. And let's see what else that we have here. These ones are kind of nice too. Already got some of those. Well, let's see, let's go to the next spot. Okay, I'm up here by my fi underneath my fig tree, and I've got this uh, beautiful red um, succulent that's growing up here in the corner. Um, this really doesn't get very much water, but man, it grows like crazy. But this red, I think, would be a great contrast in the in the white pot. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick a, quite a few of these. I'm going to take them off the ends that are kind of going over the retaining wall here. That one's not all that good. Some more. in our saucer and so what you kind of what I'm kind of doing with this one since it's kind of a, um, a little bit of a trailer one it just kind of trails down I'm just kind of cleaning it up cutting all the ones that are on the bottom I think they're like I said I think the red's gonna make a, a really nice contrast see look how pretty that is it's red it's got a little bit of green on the inside it's it's gonna be it's really pretty in the uh, container. You can see that uh, we're getting quite a quite a lot to put in there so we've got, a, I've got at least one more stop to make find some more. Okay so we've gone around the garden and we've picked this whole saucer full of all different types of succulents. One here, one there. One Things that are not going to be missing or look funny on the plants because we decided where we wanted which part of that plant we wanted to take. So I think these are going to look really good in here but what else do we have that we need? We do need to amend the soil. Uh, there's a few weeds in here we'll take out. And uh, so I got my soil here. I've also got some little rocks to put on top. So if you're wondering where to get these rocks that people put, you know, like you put the succulents in and we're gonna put the you know, rocks that come in all different colors. 
these are the rocks that they use for um, aquarium or aquarium for fish so what you want to do is go like to petco or PetSmart or something like that and go to where they sell uh, the fish tanks and stuff and you can you choose what kind of rocks that you want very inexpensive the way to go because they have so many different colors that you can do so i've got some white ones here we're going to use i also have a second saucer because I'm going to show you how we trim these plants up and I take the leaves and I put them in a saucer with just a little bit of uh, soil and water them like every six months and I gr it grows new plants. And then I've got a little container that we're going to pull out all the big rocks. Okay, and most importantly, I've got my spoon. So I use the bottom to dig the hole to put them in and the top to kind of move the rocks around. So those are all the items that we have to get started. These are the things that I use honestly just use whatever you have available so um, I think we're gonna do a close shot to get this done today so you can kind of see in detail how we're putting these things in here so uh, let's get started okay let's get started well the first thing for me is I have to use my reading glasses because so I can see up close make sure I'm getting things right so if you need glasses go ahead and put them on so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this out. So I can see, you can see right here, there's, there's some weeds. Let's pull those out. We don't want weeds coming up in our uh, succulent garden. So this came with this. So I think I'm gonna say, we'll save this and we'll, we'll put this in after here. But I also see some rocks. So it looks like, you know, some rocks were put in there. I'm gonna save those because we're gonna put those in after. That's why we've got this here. So I'm gonna go through here. And we're just going to pick out all the big rocks that I can see. Um, I'm a big fan of rocks. Number one, for um, succulents, they're very good for its uh, um, to help them not get soaked in water. So it help, really helps with that. So we're just going to pick out all these here that we can. And you'll see after we put the rocks back in, then these gray rocks are really going to pop. They're really going to look good and um, you'll be able to see them. Some of them are kind of nice. I like to save rocks whenever I can because we can, I can always use them. I don't know what that is, but if you see any garbage, let's get rid of that. So you can see all these little like little granite rocks are kind of nice. Little rocks in there. Pieces. Oh, a little more piece of garbage. You want to make sure you get all of that out. And if you want to, you can actually even scrape the top layer off if you want, if you're kind of worried about the soil. Or this came from my brother, so I know about the soil. But if you get it from somebody else, perfectly fine to change the soil out if you're not sure. Eat to plant those plants and find out this will put, you know, some kind of um, herbicide or something in there and all your plants are going to die. So just get out all the ones that you can. That's, that's pretty good. So we're going to put these aside and we're going to use these later. Let me do the decorating. So I have my whole big thing of uh, soil. Now I put it in the square because when I do things like this with the smaller uh, pots, it, it helps to get the, the dirt in there if you've got like a little pointy end here. So we're just going to go around here and we're just going to mend the soil. This is, yes, this is cactus and citrus mix. This is the one that I really like that I use. It's already moistened, but I, as you know, with um, succulents, you do not want to have them um, soaking in water. Matter of fact, I'll say again at the end, after we plant this, you don't want to water it for two weeks. Because we just picked, we just snipped all of those, um, we just snipped all of those succulents off the plants. And a lot of people say you should wait two days before you plant them. You can do that if you want. But I find that I don't have a problem with them here as long as I don't water them for about two weeks. And then they'll, they'll start to do their thing. So we'll get this as much as we can here. So you can see I'm just adding the soil in there. So now we'll go through and just kind of pat it down. Pat, pat, pat. There you go. And we'll just get our fingers here, we'll put it down like this. So there you go. It kind of cleans it up, see, doesn't it? And we left some of those little rocks in the bottom and and that way it's really gonna help with the um, the drainage on this. We'll put a few more things if I have some air pockets. You really, you really don't want air pockets because the roots will really dry out then. 
So just like any other plant, succulents can dry out too. All right, so I've got all that in there. And what I try to do is kind of go all around the rim here. Just like when I kind of do a pie, you know, is get that down and just have like a little ridge on the end. It really seems to help when you do start watering. And remember, we're gonna be adding some little tiny um, gravel in here. So that helps the gravel go all the way to the edge without the, um, the dirt peeking out. So I always go around there. So let's get this now. And we'll do the same thing for the top. I'm just gonna go off with my finger. You can wear gloves if you want for this. A lot of times I wear gloves too, but not today. You know, usually you see me, I have my blue gloves, which I do love. But, okay, because that does help your manicure if, you have, if you're worried about that. Okay, so you can see, we've got all this soil now. So now we're just gonna start placing. And this is where it kind of gets, gets very creative. If you don't think you're creative, you just do what you like. How do you want to see it? Um, typically, we're, I'm going to put um, something taller in the middle. I do like to do that. And then we're just going to kind of mix it around the edges here and there. And remember, these do grow. Because remember when we planted, we dug this one up here. Um, this one here had, had probably doubled in size since I had actually planted it over there in that big arrangement. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of start with the big ones and look at the roots on that. It's got it's got quite a few roots, but I'm uh, not sure how deep this thing goes. I might have to trim it. So let's take a look. Now here's where my spoon comes in handy here. So I've got my spoon here, and it also helps too if you want to do the rim like this. See, that helps with that. But the end part here, this is a teaspoon, an actual little teaspoon, is that, um, and, this, and this nice Disney thing has these little ridges here. So I think that I'm just gonna, so far I can dig down here, if I can dig it far enough to get these roots in. Or I might have to clip off a little bit at the end. Let's see here. So I'm just gonna clip off the roots in about there. I'm gonna clip it off about right there. Put that over there. So you can see we still have roots. And don't worry, the succulent is not gonna be mad. It'll actually um, help with the growth. <laughs> if you blow it and there's any little remnants of anything, they'll go ahead and pop out. So you can see we've got a round edge here and then this one here is not so round. So you place it the way that, that you want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it so it kind of hangs over just a little bit right there. You can see, kind of put it in. Then I'm gonna get my spoon. I'm gonna go down in here. You can see how the spoon can kind of get into places that you know that you can't, and we're just gonna tap it in. Okay, there you go. So that one's placed. Look how nicely that looks. See, so we got that one going. We said we're gonna start with the big ones. Here's another one. Then another thing that we can do is we can trim. Not only do we blow, but we can trim. See, it's like this one here. And the best way to do it is to take it and just turn it just a little bit. You see, it comes right off. So if you yank it, it doesn't come off that good. But just grab and turn. So this one here is looking pretty good. So let's kind of offset this one here. So let's put this one like kind of maybe over here. So again, we're gonna we're gonna take our spoon here. And we're going to see how long that is. And see, we know that if our spoon is that, we know how far our spoon needs to go down. So that's, that's kind of a, a nice little measure there. So there we go, we got that one in. And we're gonna backfill it here and press it in. There we go, so we got that one all nice and placed. See, there you go, we're on our way here. And let's see what are we gonna be next. So I also got some of these here. Um, again, we're gonna trim this here. So we're gonna do turn, and we're gonna go turn. And you can do as many of these as you want. You do it till it, it's got the shape that you want. So we've got some longer ones here. And these, there we go. So that was, that was pretty good shape there. So let's get those. I don't know if you noticed, but what I'm doing is that, you know, the leaves that are in pretty good condition, I'm going to keep in this. And these are the ones I'm going to save. We'll show what it looks like at the end. So, where are we going to put this one? I might put this one. This one's pretty nice. I think we just might, again, put this one here on the edge. There we go. I'm just going to get the spoon in there. Just kind of lift it down. I'm going to try to not get the dirt inside of the, uh, the succulent. So, again, we've got this. It's got kind of a long edge here. So let's see, this one might look good that way. Let's get our spoon, put it down in here. There we go, just kind of get that. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, so it's kind of coming together. We've got this and that going. And we're just, I'm just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna find some things that, um, that I think things are gonna look good now. So here's some of the ones that we planted that, that we snipped off that had a lot of uh, growth. Kind of, you know, when you get your succulents, you let them grow, they get kind of elongated. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I got my thing here, we're gonna trim them. So maybe we just kind of do a little turn. I'm gonna save all these. Now, all, the majority of these will turn into little plants, believe it or not. I keep them in a saucer, I put a little dirt on the bottom, and then I water it occasionally. So now this looks like just the regular one, right? You shape it the way that you want. You can make it bigger, small, however you want. And then what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna plant it up to the base here, and all these little nodules that are down here are gonna, are gonna be roots. And then hopefully at some point, we'll get a bunch of new little plants here. So we'll plant some of these. So I've got this one, I've got a few of these. Might as well just get them all cleaned up all at once. They come up pretty easy, but you do want to be a little bit careful. I think that looks pretty good. We'll get that one. Do I have another one? Here we go. And again, just try to turn a little bit, get all this off. I see some little spider webs on here. Just pull those off. Sometimes when you blow, they come off too. So there we go. Oh, spider webs. There you go. There's another one. We have some more. Ooh, I think I got one more here. And look at that one, it's pretty big. It's got a lot of big stuff at the bottom and a little tiny top. So that wasn't gonna be doing much. There we go. There's another one. So I think that was all of that kind. So let's do this. Let's put them down in here. And I don't know, for me personally, I kind of like groups of the odd groups odd numbers like threes and fives and stuff like that they make in, in, for plants i think they make a nice little show that way so we've got this one as well so we'll do three here this is going to go on my front porch so i want to make a nice little just a nice little show for these there's a little Okay, see, nice little group of three. It looks nice. And then we've got, I mean, we cut a lot of these red ones here. Do I have any more big ones? Oh, I've got this white one here. It's kind of pretty. This one here is, is a variegated one, which is it's really, it's just lovely, isn't it? So I think we're going to put that one, let's see, I think I'll put that one on the other side over here. It's really pretty. And then we have this extra one here. We'll put this one here next to it. the leaf off. That's okay. We're just going to stick it in our bucket over there. All right. What other ones do we have? Oh, we've got another one of these. So let's get it cleaned up here. Okay. And yeah, spider webs. So we're going to put, we do our little three over here. So we'll put one over here and I'm gonna push down with our little spoon. And we've got a little grouping of three. And we've got these here. I forget the name of these ones here, but these ones here, look at it, they're really pretty. Got the green and little red tips. Really like those. They're very easy to grow. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of cut them down here. This one will need to be snipped. Now I'm gonna also leave this in here because this sometimes roots and then little plants come up on that one too. So we'll cut this down to give it about like an inch down there. So we've got that one. And I think we've got a few of these in here. Oh, there's spiderweb. Get these off. There we go. That one's kind of coming off. And we'll cut this down. There's another one. Look at that one's got a little bit of a turn, so we can already cut that one off. Kind of hard when the, the stem is turned, it's a little bit harder to, to get them in the ground correctly. So we'll just take a couple more off up here. Make that a little bit bigger. Any more of those? No, a lot. No, I do not see them. Okay, so we're gonna put these. Let me put these these over here. There's a group of three. One, two, and three. Okay, so we got those going. Get a little, our spoon. See when we do the spoon, how it just tightens them right up. And uh, we're going to put that one on last. Oh, we've got another kind of, kind of a big one here. This one's pretty. It's got the red. See, so it's got the red at the back. 
This one's already got a great shape. I don't think I need to trim that one. So I think we're gonna put that one, let's see, we're gonna put that one right here. Give it a little interest this way. When I do the circle ones, you really gotta take, gonna take into account where this thing is gonna be. Because if it's gonna be up against something, you wanna have everything, if it's gonna be, up, a wall's gonna be here, then you wanna really keep all the interest here. So, um, but if you're gonna have it in place where, you know, if you're gonna see it from all around, you kinda wanna make it as even as possible. I think this is gonna be the front. So I'm gonna go a little bit less here on the back. All right, here we have all these beautiful red ones here. So we're gonna take off the ends here. And we're gonna just start placing these around. And we're just gonna um, kind of put some here, put some there. We're just, we're just cutting off just the bottom ones here. This one's kind of on the ends. So this will be an interesting one to plant. And some more of these red ones here. I really like these. I think with the, the contrast with the white of the, um, the Disney fountain, I think is uh, really gonna pop here. few more. So we placed really all of our big ones and now I'm just kind of going through here and we're just going to be placing some other ones for interest. I see that I've got a few more here that there's a white one also that needs to be placed. Another red one. That one's got a nice little tree effect here. And then we have another one of these. Let's keep this one a little bit bigger here. So the, what we're going to do now is just kind of place these guys around here. And um, let's see, so we've got oh, these here. So we're gonna plant, let's see, we've kind of got a little red one here. Press it down with the little spin. And then we've got another one, let's put one right here. Kind of around the, the inner circle here will be nice. And we'll save some of the other ones for that as well. This one here's kind of interesting, so. I think I'm going to try to plant this part to keep that part down, which means I'm going to trim off this little edge here. Yes, yeah, so even if it's curved, those will also put out some roots as, as well. So we'll put that over here. Again, I'm going to press it down. And that one's really got a bad curve on it, so we're going to, we're going to cut that one off. It's got a little baby right there. So we're going to put this one here over the edge, kind of on the edge right there. There we go. Kind of press it in. And then we've got a couple of these here that uh, we still got. Here's what we think we're going to put. Put that right here. Oh, that needs to go a little deeper. Press it in. And we've got the, the reds here again. We're going to press it in. Good. And we've got a couple of these white ones. These are kind of nice. Look how pretty that they are. So where are we going to put those? I really like how that looks there. I think that looks really good. Everything's really doing well. But see, I like the three. I think I need one more right there because I do like the idea of the three. So let's put one more right here to keep that in front. There we go. Now we got our three. One, two, three. I'm happy about that. And we're going to put these white ones here kind of at the edge. They look pretty. And this one here looks like a little treat. I love these. So we're going to put this one right here. I think it's got a great look. And it looks like a little tree. Okay, so there we go. Let's press that in. And we're going to keep these. I'm going to put those around there. So that means I've got one more. So there's a lot of red going on right there. Uh, oh geez, I got one more, to, one more to place. I think we'll put it over here. There we go. Let's see however you like it. So now we're gonna plant the center. So for the center, I have this giant, uh, I'll put a picture up. I've got a giant uh, jade plant in the front on the porch that I've had for many, many years. So I just went out there and I picked I snipped some, some ones off that are growing through the fence because the fences, if we have any frost, they're gonna, they're gonna get, they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna die because they're not, these are not frost tolerant. 
but it's on the porch, it does just fine. So I'm just gonna trim this up. This is gonna go in the center. There's another little one. That one looks okay. So this one here, I'm gonna snip a little bit. And what I'm going to do here, it's got a little, you see it's got a little flower that's starting, so that's gonna look nice. So I'm just gonna get in the middle here. I'm gonna put that down. You've seen jade plants, they look like little trees. I really like them. So I'm gonna push that in with our spoon. Push, push, push. There we go. And we've got uh, another little piece right here. And we're gonna push that in. Push, push, push. Make sure it's nice and set in there. And we've got one more piece. Oh, here it is, fell down. One more piece, this one right here. So we're gonna push that in there. And we'll just kind of, these I kind of try to make sure they're growing up because that's the growth pattern of jade is to grow up. So we want to do that. So now remember, I've got all these little red pieces that I saved. So I'm just going to put them around. So I'm just going to say, okay, there's one. There's one. And here's one more. So just place those in there. That just kind of kind of gives us some interest there, just a little bit around the, the center. So let's kind of push all this in, blow it just a little bit. Okay, what do you think? It looks terrific just the way it is. And you can leave it just like this, it'll be fine. I do like to put the gravel on though, because of the fact that it does um, keep the moisture in, I do have to water it less. I'll probably water it, I won't water this for two weeks and then water at least every three weeks after that, not a lot. There's not really drainage in this, so you want to keep you want to try to keep it directed at the plants, and they'll tell you. Cyclones kind of tell you when they need to have uh, some uh, water. So the next thing is is that we've got all of our gravel here. So next thing to do is to start placing that, and the easiest way to do that, I again I use my spoon here, but I just use it and I kind of lift up the plants and I put the gravel in. Use my spoon. I'm gonna lift up the plants and it's a little bit tedious honestly but you know what it turns out so good so again we're gonna lift up the plant here and we're gonna put it underneath see how that's looking and remember how we we kind of pushed down the edge of there we did that so we can get the white gravel right up to the edge so there you go so we'll just do a little bit more I'm gonna push it around and then again, we're just gonna push these back here, a little bit in the front right here. And we're gonna put it rest around here. There you go. So it's not looking nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna place all this gravel and then we'll come back once all the gravel has been placed. Okay, we have all the right gravel all placed. And look how nice and clean that that did. So no matter what the dirt was underneath with the, with the, uh, the uh, aqua gravel for the fish tanks, it just cl it cleaned right up. It's nice and bright. This is going to look beautiful on the porch. But now remember we got all, we saved all those rocks. So now I, I rinsed them. I got them a little bit clean. And so I'm just we're just going to we're just kind of put them around. I thought maybe around here would look kind of nice. The contrast between the white and the uh, uh, dark rocks. I think it'll look pretty nice. There's some different colored ones. See, just kind of put them around. And there's some bigger ones here, and we can just put those here and there. So there's a nice place for a big rock. You know, some little ones here. Some nice little colored ones here and there. And these just kind of just give some depth to the whole thing. So you just put as many or none, put as many as you, that you want. Like I said, I always like kind of groups of three, so we're gonna put them around here. And uh, there you go. So we've got our nice Disney succulent garden from a piece of uh, a material that was gonna be thrown away from an old Disney fountain. Now this is a good way to recycle. I picked all, I just took little snips from my um, succulents that I already have. If you don't have any succulents, I'm sure you, maybe you'll know somebody, maybe a neighbor, maybe someone in your family that is willing to let you come over and take a few snips. If so, you can go ahead and make something like this. And um, 
it's just an alternative to saying I don't have a pot or a saucer or something like that, is that really if they have at least two to three inches of depth, you can at least um, plant a succulent garden. So I hope you enjoyed the, the video today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You see I got my reading glasses on so I can see pretty close. So um, these ones here that we didn't use, I'm just gonna go and replant back into the containers or somewhere else in the garden. So, or maybe I'll make um, a little second garden for a member of the family. So thanks again for watching everybody today. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Just leave them down in the comments. And uh, remember when you're working in the garden, always wear your hat and your sunscreen. Thanks for watching. Bye.